Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is oh. tonight? What's up, Ram? I got, I got AC Brown in the one. AC Brown number two. And hey, AC Brown number three right here. Hey, man, we're in the yes, building, sir. man. This is SM Enlightenment Television, The Hustle Within, episode 23. Man, we got a, a action packed show tonight. Man, we got action. Look at all them. Look at, look at, look at me, man. Look at me. I'm shining around here. Y'all see what no, I'm look at me. I'm glossy. I'm glossy. Episode 23. Episode 23. FM Enlightenment Television. Man. Hey. We got a good show, man. I got a special guest I'm going to bring in, man. He got a big announcement to make. I'm going to bring him in right now. He's my client. His name's AC Brown. Bring AC Brown in real quick. All right. What's up, Ralph? What's happening? Hey, right. Brown, what it look like, Ralph? Hey, man, I'm, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. You know why I'm doing yes, good. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I see Ralph. Man, I'm like, what's up, my Easter Brown head on good? Y'all like, y'all yeah, got you, Easter Brown head on I see you got, your, you got your hair cut, man, but you can put that cap on your head for me. Hey. They better want to hide that $60 haircut. Yeah. You can't put no hair on this. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna get hair yeah. cut one week and have the other. <laughs> yes, sir. But hey, man, we got a good top ten. We're gonna do comparison. But AC, I'm gonna let you go. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do the top ten first. Uh -huh. I know you got some characters. The, the, oh, let me go in the top five. Top five DC top five characters versus top, Marvel top five characters. Man, man, this is a good one. Comic books. We all grew up on it. Grew up on the comic books, man. Ace, give me a comic character that you grew up on that you think in D let's start off with DC. DC comics. I got two. Okay. I give you one, I give you two. All my, right. My, my top two is Superman and Flash. Okay. <laughs> I knew who goes in it. Okay, you definitely oh, see, man. see AC. I know AC was looking at my notes. I already know that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to K Mills. K Mill got the uh all black on tonight. I'm gonna see what he's talking about. Well, I since I got all black, I guess I go. I guess I go with Batman. Where you going, Gotham City? Huh? <laughs> okay, okay, Batman. Okay, Batman. Okay, we got you. Okay, now King Celos, who you got? Who you got? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Robin. Robin. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, he didn't know made a group, did he? Robin never made a group. <laughs> Robin, Robin never made a group. Made a group. Hey, Batman wouldn't Marvel. bring him. Marvel. Batman right. wouldn't bring him. We go now. Hey, give me two Marvel characters, uh AC, a Marvel character. Let me um I'll get ready to say the wolf man. What's his what's his name? Um Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wolf man. Okay, I know y'all don't want Marvel. Oh know. man. I, I already see that now. Hey, I see it now. Hey, 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 he had the he had the bootleg book, didn't he? He had the bootleg. <laughs> hey. Oh man. Oh my god. Man. All right. All right, now K, K Mills, who you got now? Come don't on. Boot man. me out, man. Don't hey, don't say the rat. Man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Credible Hope because when I get bad, I turn green too. <laughs> okay, Credible Hope. Okay, got you. That's a good one. All right, King C. Lowe, who you got? Oh man, I'm like 0 for 1 today. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Thor. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's a good. One. Right. <laughs> I got. That's, I got that's one, better man. than Robin. Now he's definitely better than Robin. So we gonna oh. go with hey, the top five for DC. We got the Flash. Night he was his character was born in 1940. The Flash. All right, and then we got Green Lantern, John Stewart, 1940, number four. That's the black. That's the black. Black. That's one. the black version. <laughs> yep, it's right. hard to get that. One. Yeah, it's hard to get that one. That's rare. Wonder <laughs> Woman, number three. 1941. That character was born 1941. 
Yeah, beautiful Wonder Woman right there. That's a goddess, princess. Yes. All right. Number two, Batman, 1939. His character was born in 1939. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, yeah. Hey, that's, that's, that's a mean, clean yeah. Batman right there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Then we got number one, <laughs> Superman. Everybody know. Probably the number one character throughout uh, all characters of uh, comics history. of history. Yes. Now we're going to go to the top five with Marvel. We got number five, the Wolfman. I mean, Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, man. Then we got yes, number sir. Four. Well, I got the number first. Four, we got the Hulk. We got the Hulk. Yep. Yes, sir. That's a serious Hulk right there. Number three, Iron Man. Iron Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And number two, Spider Man. That's Miles, though. That's the Miles character, but that's Spider Man, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he took over Spider Man. Remember, Spider Man got killed later on, and that's the new Spider Man. All right. Mm -hmm. And number one was Captain America, which is very, he's a very big character, Uh also. Now it's going to be my next one. Yes, sir. So what do y'all think about this, Ace? I'm gonna go ahead and get your opinion on it. What do you think about the top five for DC and the top five for Marvel? Uh, that's a strong top five. Yes, I mean, I know, I know I grew up with the with the regular Justice League super friends, so all them fit. And the Marvel ones, Captain America was gonna be one of them for me, and of course Wolverine. So yes. I'm, I'm cool with them five. Those top okay. five on both sides. All right, all right. Now. What about you, K Mills? You got any? You got got any input with this top five with Marvel? <laughs> top five with DC? Now you know it was funny. I used to watch Teen Titans with my son, and they <laughs> and they had Robin in there. He always was trying to get Robin. in the group. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was always trying to get in there. Robin. Batman wouldn't know let him in. That was hilarious, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Rob, hey, Rob, the leader of Teen Titans. He's the leader of Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah, but he was trying to get in the, the, the DC or whatever. They, yeah, Batman then would never let him in there. No. Nah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> now, what about the King uh, C. Los? What do you think about it? The top five with Marvel, top five with DC? Um, I mean, you know, they're solid. Um, I, don't, I don't think anybody that was left off um, out of all of them, but yeah, I always wonder. I always wonder, you know, like Superman, like my favorite, right? Uh-huh. So I always like, mm-hmm. you know, when you start to kind of see the movies now, and I'm like, I wonder what, like, if they did like a cross universe, and it was like DC versus Marvel. Like, I know Superman would run the tables and beating all of them, right? Right, right. But yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting, if, you know, if they came uh-huh. up, if you know, if they figured it out, that'd be. That that'll be hot. I oh yeah. So okay, I'm gonna go down and give you some numbers on Marvel. All right. So Marvel was created by uh, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. Stan Lee just uh-huh. passed recently, like a couple years ago, I believe. Uh huh. Um, now he's in every. If you look at all the Marvel movies, the new movies, all the Iron Man's, the Spider Man's, the any of these Justice League, not just Lee, you're not in Justice League, that's DC. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, no, oh, man. You did it all you want. the Wolfman back over here. The Wolfman. Oh. <laughs> Justice League, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, Stan Lee was in all, all, your, all your Marvel movies. He, he makes a guest appearance in every movie. So that's now he's getting paid. He's his his estate is still getting paid heavy huh. with Marvel mm-hmm. with this. But even but though I Disney, think you bring up a good point. You bring up a good yeah. point though, because right. he wasn't in the Marvels with the mutants. You see what I mean? Right, right. Because they separate. Mm-hmm. They with Sony, right? With, with, they with Warner Brothers or Sony's, right? Yeah, I think Sony. Yeah, they with Sony Warner Brothers. Now I think DC huh. finally. I mean, I think Marvel just Disney just brought. The actual X Men and all them now. So the next character wave will be coming through Disney mm-hmm. for the movies. And what, what you know, the fans might not know. We're talking about the movies. These are, the movies are the ones that are actually making the movie the money now, because mm-hmm. the comments are not making the same amount of money they were making when we were growing up, because nobody really going to buy them, right? So they try to make movies and they do merchandise and stuff off the comics and off the uh, movies. 
Uh, but just you know, just go down. Uh, DC is worth six point seven. Let me. I'm gonna go over DC. DC had different years for the characters. DC is worth six point seven billion dollars. Six point oh. seven billion. Superman alone probably worth six six billion of that by itself. By himself. Yeah, you know the the franchise of Superman is probably the number one character, which he is the number one character throughout the world. The mo- the known, the biggest recognized character throughout the world through comics, and um, he's the popular superhero in the world. So what y'all think about and Marvel is God. They worth nineteen billion dollars. Disney is worth about nineteen billion. Mm-hmm. So, what do y'all think about Marvel and DC? These facts, some of the facts that they got uh, with the with the net worths and what do you think Marvel should be worth more than DC? DC is like a lot of the original characters come from DC that everybody know, like the popular characters like Superman, uh, Batman, the Justice League, basically. So you I'll, I'll chime in. Right. So I, I, I'll start with saying that I think, you know, I think DC had some identity problems yeah. and issues over the years. If you kind of think about after Christopher Reeves, they had about five different Supermans and they really right. couldn't nail down the right character. Right. And I think I think Marvel, the timing of Marvel and how they just blew up, as well as the technology. As well as having strong characters, kind of helped launch and and increase the revenue and value of um, Marvel as a whole. You see what I mean? So right. you know you have some really strong characters, kind of like separately, and then they kind of combine them towards the end with the, all the Avenger movies, and it was which made it great. I mean, they broke worldwide records in terms of movie sales and tickets. Right. I agree with okay. that. Okay. <clears throat> what about you, AC? What do you think about uh, Marvel and DC? I, the facts, the fact finding. Yeah, I was gonna say I look at them kind of like, <clears throat> like I'm old school when I grew up in that that era when television. That's the only place that you saw these characters was, was a, basically your one network, and then you had your your comic books. And now you got all this different technology, and now Marvel can capitalize on all of that. Right. So now there's like you said, there's more merchandising going on. So it's a lot more ways for them to make money now with, with Marvel. So that, that's how I view it. And K Mills, what do you think? What do you think about the Marvel and DC, the comparison? Do you think Marvel should be as big as big? Well, actually bigger than DC right now when it comes to the movies. Yeah, right now. But I don't know about the movies, but as the shows and cartoons and all that. Yeah, they mm-hmm. mean with the time now. Yeah, yeah, they should make the, make, make the most money. Because they got the most right. stuff out. Yeah. You know, and just think about it. Like, you got a powerhouse, Disney. Disney's been around for a minute. And you yeah. got a powerhouse backing you financially. And then yeah. I think just Robert Downey Jr., probably the best, one of the best well known actors who played a Marvel comic, whatever, you know, comic book character. Mm-hmm. He owned that position. You know what I mean? He owned that character. Right. You know, yeah. when you walk up to him, you think he's Iron Man for real. Yeah, he's synonymous. He'll, he'll ever be known and synonymous with being Iron Man. Yeah, like nobody owns that a character that way. They can never replace it. Might be a hard no, one to replace. Yeah, yeah. And what about the same thing with Captain America? It'd be hard to replace uh, my guy that played Captain America in the movies because he really, you really thought he was Captain America. Like, like these the movies make these characters real now. Mm-hmm. They base these characters for real. These actors that playing the characters, they almost pigeon themselves into that role because if you see them in other movies, you'd be like, "Oh, that's Spider Man. That's oh, that's mm-hmm. the dude that mm-hmm. played Batman." No matter what role they play. Well, 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 well. I think you, you, you said, Batman. but you said Batman, right? But yeah. here, you know, like Wolverine, he owned that position. You know, right. Jack, yeah. he owned that position. You have, right. you have ever think of Iron? Well, you know, Wolverine as 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 Hugh Jackman, but look how many people play Batman. Look how many people play Superman. Mm-hmm. Now the, the Superman today, he, you know, he's solid dude. I think he played really well. I don't know about Ben Affleck, 
You know, I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, who, who you go, who you go, Michael hmm. Keaton, Val Kimmer, George Clooney. I'm, 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 I'm dating myself here. Uh, who else? Who was the original Batman? Like yeah. the guy that was uh, Reed, Chris Reeves. No, no, that that Reeves. was that was Superman, the Batman. Oh, um. <clears throat> Remember the ones where they had the yeah. power? Yeah, when, when, they had the power, when they punched yeah, yeah. and had a power of the words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look how many people they went through. And they, and, and Ben Affleck, that's the best they could do. That's the <laughs> right. best they could do. So I'm like, man. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the one that was before Ben good. Affleck that was the um, Batman. The one that did Batman Begins, Batman Forever, all these different, the actual right. real, the good movies. What was his name? But he played good. He was a good Batman. I'm shocked that yeah. they even took him out that role. Or he left that role. I just can't believe it. That was one of the best Batman uh, character yeah. uh, actors that played the character I ever seen. So, uh, yeah. but AC, man, any final thoughts on the DC Marvel? And then I want you to make your announcement, you know, to the fans. Like I said, I, I grew up watching Superman, Batman, Flash and I always wanted my own character, my own superhero. So <laughs> that's what I just made him up. Nah, yeah. <laughs> and, and of course, he gonna he gonna be wearing this. He gonna be wearing the pyramid. pyramid. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The pyramid. And mm -hmm. and I'm coming out and I'm coming out with my own uh, comic that I'm gonna be re releasing under the AC Publishing Company that I have. Yes, so, sir. And hopefully. Yes, sir. We're gonna get that on the ground and running running soon, man. So I'm excited about that. And I want to say this about the character. One of the one things that I that I did not want the character to have was a gun. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to have his own special weapon, and I wanted to carry on like part of my characteristics and part of my alter ego that I have. So he's gonna have some skills that hey, it, that, that's part of something I wish I could do. So I think you're gonna you're gonna love it when you when you see it. Yes, sir. You're going to see the final product very soon. We're working on it, working hard over here. Man, any final thoughts yeah. before we go to the next segment? And we got to let AC go. Um, K Mills, any final thoughts? Nah. We pretty much wrapped it up. Yes, sir. Keep it wrapped. Keep wrapping it up, too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, and King C. Lowe, any final thoughts? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always have a thought. AC. Proud of you, brother. Really appreciate you coming on and joining us today. Uh, excited to see the new project, new comic book. Yes, Certainly going to be supportive. Get it out there. Spread the word. So looking looking forward to more great and wonderful things from you, my brother. So I appreciate you. Congratulations. Thank you. And I want to say this to you and, and Kay Mills. I appreciate y'all and y'all support, man, and, and wearing my caps and stuff on the show each week. So want to let y'all know I don't I don't take that lightly and I really appreciate y'all man for your support. Yes sir. Mm -hmm. Yes sir. Keep keep feeling. AC, keep, feeling. AC, <laughs> keep it positive man and I'll see you on the Ace Brown show, show soon. Yes sir. All right, you have a good All right. night. All right, good well, night fellas. Yes sir. All right. Hey man, we're going to jump right into the second segment shooting the breeze segment man. We're going to talk about the pandemic of homeless, the homeless pandemic. We're not just talking about the COVID-19 pandemic. We got a lot of people out here that don't have homes, houses, mm -hmm. panhandling. They, they lost their jobs. They had to go homeless. They have no place to stay. They stand in tents. They stand in uh, man-made uh, little tent areas. And that's that's the homeless now, man. It's, it's, it's a pandemic. So what do you think about that, Kate? Uh, K Mills, man, what do you think about the pandemic that's going on with the homeless? It's pretty much it's like COVID nineteen. It's spreading like crazy. Yeah, it's spreading. Yeah, and you know it's sad. You know I, when we walk the streets in Charlotte, we be like seeing them everywhere. Yeah. But but the thing about Charlotte, though, they, they do got a new program where they're gonna make houses for. But well, I don't know how long it's gonna take. But I don't seen the project in the picture. They take like the um the storage buildings, put them a bed, bathroom, air conditioner, and for the have TV, everything, and it's all gonna be like a little corner neighborhood. Right. And it should hold like 300 people. So I hope, I hope they get that on the road, man. And so I'm going to ask y'all, I'm going to start off with a question. Go you, King um, C. Lowe's. 
why are there so many kids that's homeless? Why are these kids are homeless? Do you think they run away runaways or yes. Yeah, so I'm probably running away and then parents, you know, something happened to their parents or something. They don't want to go to the group homes or they ran away from the group homes. Yeah. I, I You know, it, it breaks my heart when I see, like, when I go out and, you know, well, considering the pandemic, I haven't been out to uh, to donate and to go to the homeless shelters or to give out food. But when I was doing that, probably over uh, two years ago, going on two years, um, when things were normal, I would go out and feed the homeless and all that. And I would see um, a lot of homeless kids. And it broke my heart. Homeless women broke my heart. Um, I have a big, big heart for that, those particular groups. Um, and to answer your question, I think it's, it's a combination of two things, right? I think first you 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 can be born into homelessness, born right, into yep. poverty, right. and you know it's despite people not talking about it or wanting to ignore it, it's hard to get out of that, right? I can tell you from my own personal journeys, I was homeless at one point, right? And and what I mean by that, not in the sense that I was sleeping on the streets, but in the sense that I didn't have my own place, right? And I might have been sleeping on a couch. See what I mean? And it was, and sometimes it's decisions that you make. Sometimes it's things that you, you know, like for example, Camille, as you mentioned, maybe running away, mm -hmm. being sex trafficked, being mm -hmm. locked up, mm -hmm. mental illness. I mean, we, we see some of this with our our veterans when they come back. A oh, yeah. great deal of them are homeless. Great deal of yeah. them, you're watching and looking. We might not talk to them and ask them about their personal story. But when you walk by them, yeah. if you just asked, hey, what's your story? They're like, well, I was in the army, whatever, whatever. And a lot of them are dealing with mental health issues and a lot of things like that. So, I mean, it, it breaks my heart to see so much homelessness in such a, a wealthy capitalist society. And uh, we got to do something. About it. Yeah. So, what? OK, th that's my next question. What do you think? we can do to help curb this crisis in America? Well, so, so Paul, it's, it's, oh, sorry, go, go ahead, ahead Mills. Go ahead, oh, no, 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 you yes, go ahead, brother. Support the project that Charlotte got going on, man. The house, and, they call it the house and something, man. I, sh I didn't see, I should have Googled it before we would have had it on here, but I was at work with Tommy. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know you. I, keep it wrapped <laughs> up. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, hey, uh, King Celos, what do you think about it? What what can we do to help curb this crisis? Well, one, I think we got to start dealing with um, the crisis of poverty. Handle that. Start to kind of create a program to kind of help people. Show them a better way, right? The second part of that is mental health. Start kind of tackling that because I you know we have too many people too much money not to just not to be able to tackle certain you know a couple of different issues at the same time right and once you start to kind of tackle those things and you know provide decent wages to give people an opportunity to move from the lower class to the middle class and um, that's that's going to be a, 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 a huge part of it and most importantly, education, right? Right. And I'm not talking about uh, a master's degree. I'm talking about basic education, a quality basic education. Because believe it or not, you can get a decent job or not even, you know, maybe a decent job, right? You know, without a college degree. So, mm -hmm. how, you know, and, but again, we can, we can tackle all those issues, you know, at different points, different times. It doesn't mean we got to focus on one thing. Right, you know, systemic racism. How does how does that impact humans? Right, I don't I don't know. I'm just talking about it. Right, how right. does racism? How does how does classism deny someone from getting an opportunity to move up in class or social economics? You know, just little You're things right. like that. So yeah, you're definitely right. Um, but this is a topic that we like to say we're gonna revisit, go a little bit more deeper into it. But we're running out of little time, so. 
I'm gonna run into. We gotta take it to to my homeboy, my my homeboy, my homes boy, uh, <laughs> K Mills, the quarterback. Yes, hey man, we're gonna take it to you. We're gonna let you tell your story. I'm still sipping on this good water. I ain't, I'm not gonna show it tonight. I'm I'm sipping <laughs> on my good water, and I'm gonna let you go ahead and take it away, man. Tell your story to tell, man. I know you got something good tonight. All right, take it away, K Mills. Feed these. All right. Drinks. Got to feed these streets. So check this out. Y'all know I, I worked I work third shift with Tommy Off Martin, right? Yes, so one, night, one night he didn't come in, so they, they killed me at work. So I got off. As soon as I got home, I went to sleep. I was asleep for one hour. My homeboy called me and said, yo, they got me surrounded. Come get me. I'm like, what? Yeah, so first thing I did. <laughs> oh, my God. First, first thing oh I did. God. Was <laughs> oh my god! He gonna kill me. Right? First thing, <laughs> first thing I did was grab the sword. So I start walking out the door. Then I thought about it. I said, "Wait a minute, let me grab my dreads, but nobody won't recognize me." <laughs> oh my god! So I put the fake dreads on. Jumps oh in the car. Hundred miles an hour trying right. to get there. <laughs> right. So, so I get to his house. Look, when I get to the house, I'm like, "Yo, look like the door off the hinges or something." I'm like, man, what is going on? So I don't. No, pull my shirt up. His pops come to the door. He's like, oh, man, this is my first time seeing you about your hat. You got your dreads hanging out and everything. I said, yeah. <laughs> so oh, my God. I walk around, so, blood. Man, look, so I walk around the corner. I'm thinking it's going to be dudes or something. I don't know what's going on, man. I walk around the corner. I see a chick. I'm like, who is this? Oh, it's, it's his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> this chick oh, crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, crazy. so I'm, I'm testing. I'm like, yo. What you want me to do? That's your ex. He like drag out, man. I'm like, man, I'm not touching that chick, man. <laughs> so he like, he, he like, I tell you what. I'm gonna, he, he said, I'm gonna get the, he said, keep her distracted. And I'm gonna try to sneak the chick. He he locked up in the room. So he like, he's gonna try to sneak the other chick in the other room while I'm talking to his ex. I said, cool. So I, I told his ex, I'm like, yo, you got the bounce, yo. She like, I ain't going nowhere. You gotta have to kill me to get me out of here. I said, oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Oh my god. Look, then, then she said, Who you supposed to be? Then she ran back to the door. She said, You ain't nothing. You got your Jamaican homeboys to come get me out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> then she went back and sat down. And I'm, I'm we still talking. He 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 snuck the door open. Then the chick slid into the other room and closed the door. Then he opened the door. I'm like, yo, what you talking about? So she ran in the room. <laughs> Soon as she ran in the room, I over her with uh 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 I'm like, man, she she crying and everything. What man, what's going on? And I'm like, yo, I told I told dude Pop, like, yo, let's just get this chick out of here. So we snuck the other chick out. She jumps in the car and left. So we still waiting. I'm like, man, she's still in there crying and beating my home up. So I'm like, yo, so she she finally come out. She ran, she ran right out of the door crying and left. So I'm just sitting there waiting on the chair. I'm like, man, let me see, let me see what's up with my homeboy, man. <laughs> Look, my homeboy oh, comes out the room. Look, it looked like it looked like it looked like Wolverine scratched my homeboy face, man. He had scratches Wolfman. going all the way down Not his Wolverine, face, man. Wolfman. Man, I'm telling you, man, like Wolverine scratch. I said, Oh my god. And you were talking about ground that chick. If she did that to you, imagine what she did to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Not Wolfman, that, ain't, that ain't the end of it now. So like a week later, I goes to be a love by myself. I go in the bathroom, I got a hat, do rag on, I'm chilling. I come out the bathroom, I'm like, uh oh. They look like old girl right there. So I'm looking straight ahead, walking by. She looked. I see her mouth move. She's like, that look like the Jamaican dude, but he ain't got dreads. I flew. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're saying my homeboy was in a domestic violent relationship, but he was getting beat. <laughs> you got to be careful, buddy. These chicks crazy out here these days. You got to keep that strap on. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, man I thought I did some crazy chicks, though. That shit was crazy. Hey. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, you the king. What say you the king of kings? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he killed me. <laughs> hey, hey, you the kings of queen, the kings of kings on that one now, buddy. <laughs> hey, but we got to go take a break, man. We got to go pay these bills. But hey, man, make sure you know we got a comic character coming out. The AC Brown comic character coming out. His name is yes, called sir. Pyramid. The name is Pyramid. But uh, SM Enlightenment Television, this is The Hustle Within, episode 23. Hey, 
Make sure Capton Venture Partners. Make sure you hit my guys up, K Mills, King C Los. They got the money. They the money men. They the real money men. I'm broke. They got the money. Oh. Capton Venture Partners. Make sure you hit them up. And also, hey, y'all know our other sponsor, Forever Young. You yes, heard cosmetics, ladies, sundresses. I need to see sundresses. Them. I haven't been seeing them like I should be seeing them. It's been 80 degree weather. I need yeah, to yeah. come on, y'all quit quit playing with I'm us now. Quit with playing. You, man. Feed these streets. Feed these streets. But <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. I'll do these messages, man. SM Enlightenment Television. This is the hustle within episode 23. <laughs> Yes, sir. We are back. Oh, We're back, yeah. Ralph. The new host of Jeopardy. Uh-oh. Category. <laughs> <laughs> hey, SM Enlightenment Television. This is the Hustle Within, episode 23. We knocking it down. What it looked like. K Mills got all black on. Try hey. I don't know, man. You've been I don't know. Like my homie. I gotta watch you, man. I gotta watch uh -oh. you, Ralph. I ain't do that, man. You, Ralph. you got all black on. I ain't never seen that in my hey. I ain't never seen that man with all black on. Something up. Something See? up, rap. I got to watch him. And uh, <laughs> King C. Lowe's, that man got an Ace Brown hat cocked to the side. I ain't never seen that in my look, life. So, yeah, that man up to something. Y'all both up to something tonight. I got I got a glow yeah, going on here. Hey, this is SM Enlightenment Television. This is The Hustle With Them, episode <laughs> 23. I got a good question for y'all tonight. If you won the lottery, Whew. what would be the first thing you do? With the money, starting with UK Mills. First thing I would do, how much you think North Carolina costs? <laughs> give or take, give or take, um, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, you're right, yeah, I don't know, rap, right? I'm not oh, yeah. rap, I don't know, I can't get I'm about, hey, I, I, I want to buy North Carolina, man. If I can't buy North Carolina, then at least give me Richmond County. I want to okay. buy it all. All right. You want to buy one of the counties in North Carolina. And then after okay. that, you know, if I can't afford it, then it's only one more thing to do, and that's to go get Rihanna. That's it. Mm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I got you. All right, all right, all right. That's all pretty good. Okay, King C. Lost what you'll do. You get that money. Man, it depends on how much I get, right? Okay. Say this. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Say this is the big – you know how they be – these power balls and mega millions be going up to like a billion dollars now. Mm -hmm. Say it's one of the bit billion and five. Yeah. No, so I let you borrow my J I let you borrow my dress so nobody won't know who you is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was good at dress. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a, hey, all right. Bloody, <laughs> you know? Oh Bloody, man. Bloody K Mills. But if it was a billion dollars, right? So Got to be smart about it. Right. I, you know, of course, I already got my LLC. You know, I got that going. So I'll pay off. I'll pay off y'all student loans. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no student loans. I, 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 I dropped out of high school. I ain't got no yeah, no, I got some. Mine about a million. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, you just give me the money. I ain't got no student loans. I ain't even go to school, buddy. I, I, I yeah. can't read all right. <laughs> yep. Put you, put, you know, put you on payroll, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, put you on salary. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. you know, if you if you start gifting money to people, right? Yeah. Gift money, they tax yeah. them, and they tax yeah. you. Yeah. And the yeah. and, and and you got to be smart with money because I mean, as fast as you get it, as fast as you can lose it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's the way you know. That's where the you know cap time capital venture. You know all that mm -hmm. stuff. We you know we'll talk more about that. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now, I, I don't want. Yeah, I don't want to tell everybody on TV the plan. That's why I ain't say nothing like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, we want, you know, I want them to know I can handle them. You mm -hmm. feel me? I want them to know Capcom Venture Partners. I want them to know mm -hmm. we can handle their money. You know, yeah. we, we know the tax loops and things like that. So trust me, got a plan for you. Capcom Venture Partners. Holly. Yeah, my first thing, I'll pay over a little bit back the money she gave me. I'll pay <laughs> her back a little bit. But mm -hmm. that's it. I'll pay a little bit back. That's it. Just I'm not going to pay yeah. all the debt. Yeah, I pay her a, a small fraction of what I owe her. You know, she's been holding me down in the White House. Remember, I was the president last week. 
Yeah, yeah, yep. So she held me down while she was vice president. So, hey, I'll pay her back a little bit, man. That's about it. And then rest of that money, I, like you said, I go buy a, a helicopter, an mm-hmm. airplane. Don't forget the elephant. An infant, a lobster, <laughs> the biggest lobster in the world, <laughs> a submarine. <laughs> and, uh, what else I buy? Oh, yeah. So, uh, hey. Yeah. Some cheese for Green Bay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Green Bay. I buy Green Bay. I'll buy Green Bay probably. <laughs> I don't want the team. I'll buy the city. Like you said, you buy I'll buy Green Bay and just mm-hmm. be become the owner of Green Bay Packers by buying the city. I'm good. Then I'm good. I'm all good. Hey man. Y'all are y'all buying anything else now? What about jewelry call, cars or houses? Uh, no. or- I'm have that. I ain't got to buy that. I'm gonna have somebody to make. That. I'm gonna be making that. So yeah, make I ain't gotta pay yeah, me too. I'm gonna make it independently. Independently. Yeah. I might get a nice car. You know, something nice. Not too. You know, I wouldn't do a Bugatti and all that other bullshit. Oh. <laughs> that was a, that was a Capcom Venture partner. Yeah, Capcom Venture <laughs> partner. <laughs> yeah, Capcom Venture partners. <laughs> but I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy any of that other stuff. You know, like. You know, like why I don't, I don't want the attention. You feel me? Like, you know, I know I'm on. I know I'm gonna take K Mills up on his offer to give me those dreads mm-hmm. when I go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna buy so. the attention of this next guest we got coming in, man. We got a special guest. Y'all thought we mm-hmm. only had AC on the show tonight? No, we got mm-hmm. another guest coming mm-hmm. in. You got all these another guests. Huh? We got Keisha, Rudy, from. That's right. <laughs> Keisha Knight Pillman. We got yep, yep. Knight coming in from, uh, what's that, the Cosby Show. Yeah. And she was on this whack movie. Yeah, the that. other night she was on this whack movie. She played a judge. Worst movie ever. But, hey, <laughs> we got Keisha Saul coming in. Y'all bring her in. She's a visionary hustler. <laughs> Hello. Keisha Knight, what's going on, Ruby? Hi, that's cute. My mom actually named me after her, so okay. Okay. Y'all clap it up, Miss Keisha. How you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Welcome Comical. To Welcome mm-hmm. to Hustle Within. Thank you. All right. So tell us about yourself, where you was where you from, some of your background. I am from Columbus, Ohio, born and raised. I live Columbus, in Charlotte Ohio. now. Columbus, Ohio. I've been, I've been there before. You ain't missing much. Yeah. I got family in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. So born and raised. I've been in Charlotte for wow, 10, 10, 11 years now. So No, you are Ohio good. State fan. Go blue. Oh, Michigan. Go blue. I'm not. What? I'm not an Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> you a Michigan wow. fan? I am a Michigan fan. Um and it's so jacked up. One of my best friends actually played for Ohio State. So uh luckily he just loves the dimples because I don't think we would be friends any other way because I am not an Ohio State fan. No, I'm not. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Huh? That's shocking. That's almost like man, that's almost like you overthrew the government with that one. <laughs> it really it really truly is, you know, that you Charlotte and Gray go hard. Born and raised and I'm a Michigan yeah. fan. Yeah. And why, why, why'd you why'd you move to uh North Carolina? Honestly, it was it was God's plan because I wanted to be in Miami or DC. So it was literally God's plan for me to be here. I, I was not thinking about North Carolina at all, but I'm here. Okay, so, so what you're gonna tell me you ran right of uh, Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, that's the real reason. Don't tell nobody. Just I couldn't I couldn't live there anymore because I was a Michigan fan. That's the that's that's the truth. <laughs> now tell them about some of your education background, because I know you have a very interesting education background also. And and with that, you know, you guys are talking about what you do with a billion dollars. You can add my student loans to that because it's like number, 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 <laughs> comma, number, 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 comma. So uh four degrees gets you that kind of student loan debt. I have two bachelors, two masters, I have an MBA. That's what I'm saying. She's very interesting. I have an MBA in finance. I have a, um, an MBA in organizational leadership, and I am actually working on my doctorate. But that might be like a long term goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's very, yeah, very educated, very educated. And so, what are the goals? What are some of your goals, Miss Keisha? What are some of your goals moving forward? Some of the visions. 
Honestly, to, to give back, I was fortunate enough that I had parents that, you know, paid for, you know, I was told they owe me four years. So, you know, I got one degree paid for. I just didn't really know what to do afterwards. So I just kind of, I'm good at school. So I kept going. Um, but, you know, I noticed working in corporate America that um, at some point, as you get older, you start learning you. And a lot of aspects of corporate America will not fit with you, be it ethically, morally, um, it just doesn't fit. So for me, my culture shock was kind of like after my father died, like I just, nothing mattered anymore. Being in corporate America didn't matter. Um, Most people give, you know, 40, 60, 80 hours a week to someone else's business. So I'm like, I need to dedicate that same time to my own. And I did that and I started Key Management, which is, um, it's a virtual assistant company. Um, I have a mentor who was just kind of asking me, like, you know, what are you doing with all these degrees? What do you like to do? I am, by nature, just organized. Everything in my life is organized, and I realize how simple that is for me. Most people don't even understand the basics of organization. So I kind of took something I loved, had, you know, a degree in it, and created that. So it's usually my company caters to small to medium-sized businesses, and it takes out the a physical admin. Um, remember, like in the '90s, everybody had a record label. Yeah, I still got one. <laughs> I still got one right now. Oh I'm about man! To sign you, I'm about to sign K Mills. I'm about to sign King Ghost, <laughs> Doc P. I'm about to sign everybody tonight. So then you can just hire me to be your virtual admin. So, and you know, I know this, everyone has businesses, but a lot of small businesses don't even understand their business. Like, you know, do you even need a, to pay $1,500 a month in rent? Do you need a building? Do you need a physical admin? So part of, you know, one thing I do is I kind of force that business owner to learn and be accountable for their business. Cause a lot of them don't, they, they have a business they're making money, but they really don't have the administrative aspect in any type of order. Okay. Uh, King C. Lowe, any question for Miss Keisha? No, um, so, I mean, so, I mean, Rudy. A lot of, Rudy. A lot of <laughs> <laughs> right. You know I mean, how, how often do you get that? Like, you know, you look like the woman from Cosby. And, all the and, time, and, actually. All all the time. I get it quite a bit. So, I mean, I take it as a compliment. I think she's very beautiful, so I, I take that as a compliment. So, I think it was one of the worst movies I ever seen in my life the other night. I was watching. I just can't remember. But you were playing a judge. It was the worst movie I ever seen in my life. Okay, but, so the movie is called Redeemed. And, oh, okay. Um, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love her. You, you know, I, I love her, so I'm going to support her movies. Um, Queen Latifah too. I know a lot of you guys hate The Equalizer. I watch it because I'm a Queen Latifah fan. I love her too, so I, I'm gonna support it. So ease up off her movie. Just okay. a little. I watch, I watch Red <laughs> Table Talk. Jana Pinkett Smith. I watch that too. I watch that. So I support so. I support all Black women that's making it. Yep. Absolutely. And uh, K Mills got bonus question. K Mills got a bonus question. Oh yeah, yeah, bonus question. You got all black check, on tonight. So check this out. Uh, I don't think you, you're not married or nothing, are you? I'm not married. Oh, well, did, well, so you get married, you making double the money your husband making. Okay. So like, uh, like how do you, how would you split? Will you still split the bills like half and half? And you know you making you making way more money than him. How would you how would you do that? <laughs> 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 well, I know. <laughs> Ooh, man, she yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, you know, my niece, she's seven. She's my heart. And whenever she does something and gets in trouble for it, she has a, a quick response and she goes, I'm asleep. She'll put her head down. Her <laughs> That's so, what we do. <laughs> to answer your question, I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm asleep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my God. So what's the future for Miss Keisha? What are some of the things you got planned for the future? I know Honestly, you-, you know, I want key management to be that opportunity for, you know, women that, that didn't have the opportunities that I did, that didn't, you know, get to go to college or, you know, have a six figures worth of student loan debt, but they're still their own boss. And if you take like a lot of single moms, you know, they run a whole household. They may not even make, you know, $25 an hour and they live like they're making six figures. I want key management to be that outlet for them to be able to hire them as virtual assistants. And they're at home. They're still handling their business, taking care of their families. 
and comfortably making, you know, a nice salary. So that's really the objective for key management. Um, I have a book that I'm working on. Um, it's probably halfway finished. So the goal is to finish it by the end of the year. It just, it's more comical, but a lot of facts, you know, my, my parents used to always tell me people tell the truth in jokes. So um, it takes a lot of the, the realism of corporate America, especially from like the perspective of a black female and just kind of brings it to, to reality. A lot of things you can relate to. Um, so just kind of like an honest look, just corporate America was, you know, in high school, that was the goal. That was a drive. Um, but it's, it's not everyone's goal and it's not necessarily a realistic goal as well. There are benefits to corporate America, but you can be your own corporate America. So who's your favorite author? Oh, I can't say I have a favorite author. Okay. I really can't say that I have a favorite. Um, I definitely have favorite books. Okay. So one will be The Alchemist, The 48 Laws of Power. Oh, um, wow, yeah, that's everybody, yeah, The 48. Yeah. The Art of Seduction is actually above that. And um, I love a lot of Iceberg Slim books. So no judgment, but if you really read them, he had his own corporation. And a lot of his books, you can take some of those concepts and apply to you know everyday life, especially in business. So. You know, you take his books, The Art of Seduction, because, I mean, you're a marketing major, marketing genius. Marketing is nothing but seduction. How can you seduce me, persuade me into buying a product that I may or may not even need, let alone want? So I found like, you know, just a combination of that. Um, Like I said, you make your own corporate, you make your own experiences. So don't reinvent the wheel. Just make it prettier. Okay. And so what, have, okay, where have you traveled? Like, what's the places that you want to travel in the future? Like, some of the places. Um, you with or without a mask? Well, <laughs> you got to keep a mask on everywhere you go now. It's, it's impossible worldwide. You don't want to Iceland. go to Spain. You don't go to Italy. I don't, you know, Italy was like my, I'm going, I'm out, I'm done. And then COVID said, park, no one's doing, right, there we go. No one's doing anything. You're going to sit on this couch. Um, but Iceland, Italy. Iceland is my number one. I, I want to definitely go to Iceland. Iceland, we think it's all you gonna go pick some more out there or something. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do in Iceland? Film Bring us all back. We're gonna get rich. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna film a movie in Iceland? I, the Northern Lights. I want to see that. That is a bucket list. Oh, so yeah, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I want to see that. So I think, you know, with, with COVID, so for me, it's it's been a lot of blessings, believe it or not. Um, key management kind of grew during COVID. I went from like two clients to six. So um, for me, it's definitely been a blessing. And but it's also showing me like you can't wait for stuff like, oh, I'm going to go to Italy this time. No, as soon as it stays you know, clear, you know, I'm vaccinated and everything. Um, I, I do. I want to go to Iceland. I definitely want to see that um, from there. It'd probably be like Africa. I've seen 38 of the 50 states, so I'm U.S. out. Um, oh, okay. So it's definitely time to, you know, start internationally. So what's your favorite domestic state, like um, in the U.S.? Like what state did you enjoy the most? Hmm, to visit that I enjoy most, I'm honestly going to say Texas. Okay, well, now what do you like about Texas? What part of Texas? Houston. Okay, H Town. I like okay. Houston. Houston and Dallas are kind of tied for me. Um, I've seen, I've been to San Antonio as well. So, um, but yeah, I definitely like Texas the best. Um, New York is just a little too much. I mean, I am still from the Midwest, um, but it's way too much, too, way too many people. And I hate the traffic. California, I hate the traffic. You know, Georgia's like down the street from North Carolina, but um hate the traffic. Yep. But what have you been doing for fun during COVID? Like, what have you been doing for fun? I bought a house, so I have been decorating. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Okay, Rudy. Rudy balling. The Cosby Show money, all that Cosby Show money, you balling. <laughs> yeah, I wish if she wants to give me some of those residual checks, I will, I will be greatly appreciative. Yeah. Put those right on those Sally May loans. Okay. So, um, I bought a house. It's time to be a grown up since I, I think I'm going to be here for a while. So I've been decorating. So I've been, that's been my pastime. I've been decorating. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, are, are you into sports? Like, what's some of your hobbies? Mm, reading, honestly, music. I have started back playing the, I played the piano when I was younger. So I finally started, got the keyboard out, then working on that some more, playing on the keyboard, and then trying to finish this book. So, okay. What advice would you give a young lady coming up that want to get two masters, two undergrads? Don't get two masters. Hey, two doctors. Two, <laughs> they got two everything, two associate degrees. <laughs> Two masters, two what advice will you give a young lady coming up that want to get these degrees and some of this education behind them? I mean, don't do it because that's what you feel is a societal norm. Do it because it's something you want. Um, you know, I have an associate's, two bachelors, two masters. I just didn't know what I wanted to do, to be honest. It wasn't for, you know, accreditation or validation. I just had no idea what I wanted to do. I was just good at school. Like, it was easy for me. Um, you know, I could put out a 15-page paper in like four hours and I'm good. So it just, just made sense to keep going. And, you know, that was really the caveat to not paying back loans. You just stay in school. Um, right. right. So, you know, honestly, the only reason I'm getting my doctorate, it was a promise that I made to my father. He passed in 2017. So that's why I said it's just it's my own time. But I'll get my doctorate and then, you know, I'll come back on the show and you all can call me Dr. Keisha. Oh, yeah. We're going to call you Dr. Now. Night. I will. We're going to need that, that medical. Yeah. Uh, I ain't going to say it. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. So, so like, like, what do you what is your book? What are you offering right now? And so my, the title is How to Like You When I Don't. Um, because you think about when you're a kid, they always tell you, to, you know, play nice, be nice. But that's not even a reality. Like there are some people you're going to meet who just don't mesh well with who you are. And why be fake? Why do you have to like them? Like I'm not saying just be ignorant and rude, but you don't have to go off your way to, to like them. I mean, we live in a age of instant gratification and facade. Social media, you know, there's no patience, there's no nothing. And, and that's what my book is about. Like, just be you. If you're ignorant, if you're rude, if you're shy, if you're quiet, just be you because no one's going to like you unless you like you. Period. Point blank. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Miss Keisha, Knight Kilman, it was a pleasure having you on the show. Rudy, when they when they gonna start showing the Cosby Show again? Oh, I, 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 I couldn't even tell you. I, I didn't I didn't make the cast, so I'm, that, I'm just. Hey, that's been a thing. What's the other one? Meet the Browns. Not meet the Browns. House of Pain. House of Pain. Yeah. When y'all gonna come back out with the House of Pain? House of Pain. I need you know, that. I think there is a new season, but I, I don't know. That's actually out. the one show I don't I don't really keep up with. So. Yeah, it's about to come out. And don't See, come look, there you go. Don't come out with part two of Redemption, whatever that movie. Don't come back out with that one again, part two of that. But did you watch it all the way through? Uh, no. That's one, movies, <laughs> that's one of the movies you stop at the beginning when you see how that movie looks. <laughs> you don't watch that one. Oh, man. It had a great plot. Like she, she was, you know, making aware of you know certain things that are going on in the world. So you know, watch it all the way through. Okay, I will. I will. I'll take your advice, Rudy. Okay. On this All right. One. All right. D give your shout outs, handles where people can follow you or e your emails or websites, uh, uh, future website domains or anything. That so can. it is ksolves at keymanagement.org. So if you have questions or anything, you know, just go ahead. Like I said, I've been blessed that key management is in the process of growing so quickly that every one of my clients has, have been referrals. So I'm literally, literally it was last week where I'm like, okay, I guess I need a website. And you know, it's just, just happened. It wasn't anything that I was planning. It was, you know, LLC, then client, then client, then client. So very, very blessed, very fortunate, but it's still very much in, in a baby stage, but it's K Sauls at key, K E Y dash management.org. All right. It was a pleasure. You want to shout out anybody? You shout out you can shout out some people you want to. Um, what my sister Rosa, my little my fake my niece, Bella and Micaiah, um, my best friends, Angel and Rachel. That's that's about it. All right. Well, it was a pleasure having you on here, Miss Keisha. Well, Dr. Thank you guys. Dr. Keisha, masters, masters, and undergrads and undergrads and associates. <laughs> it was a pleasure having you on the show. 
and we want to wish you the best. And definitely, we gotta we're gonna do a follow up show, bring you back, see what you got going on. But definitely appreciate sure that. Thank the you. Within. Make sure you keep watching the hustle within. We got absolutely. All absolutely. right. Absolutely. Thank night. you. You guys have a good night. All right. You Thank you. Good night. All right. Well, my dudes, what it looked like. Chilling hey, rap. Clean C Los, man. Hey, we we got through another show, man. So I'm gonna hey. Wolfman, I'm gonna go ahead and let you uh, what Wolfman is. <laughs> hey, well, he's saving the world. We're gonna let K Mills <laughs> yeah. go ahead and tell us your shout outs, your handles, and let people know, you know, just let people know about Wolfman and all these other things coming up. Well, as my handles, you can catch me on the Hustle Within show on YouTube. Subscribe and hit like. like. But yeah, give like. a shout out to the guest yeah, tonight. Fox. Give a shout out to her. Give a shout out to Doc P, Aunt Los, myself. Give a shout out to Ralph for coming last week. Shout out, my guy. Give a shout out to the my boys Tico, Blow, Kevin, Buck, Little Buck, T, Ken, Reggie, Stump, Tink, and everybody from Richmond County. Holla at your boy. Yes, sir. Uh, King C. Lowe's, who you got? Who you got? Oh, uh, man, let me give a shout out to all the guests, you know, from AC Brown to Keisha, uh, certainly the man behind the scenes, Jay, uh, you know, Doc P, uh, you, K Mills, you know, all the guests. I mean, we, you know, this is, this, this season is coming to an end. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a good season. It's been a good season. Good season. <laughs> Yep. Yes, sir. So, Captain ENT, make sure you follow us. Captain ENT, C A P T O N ENT on IG. And the Hustle Within on IG. Make sure you follow the page, Hustle Within. Captain Venture Partners on IG. Anthony33 Little on IG. Anthony Little on Facebook. Man, make sure you keep following us. This is SM Enlightenment Television, the Hustle Within, episode 23. I want to thank the guests, Keisha, Knight Pillman, Rudy. From the Cosby Show up here. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to thank man. Yeah. Keep keep it locked, man. We got a lot of things coming. We, we winding down to the end of the season. We got a couple more episodes, some great guests, and I want to thank AC Brown for coming making that announcement. The yes, Pyramid Character comic book coming soon. Comic the comic Pyramid Character, and it's copywritten and trademarked, so you can't steal it. Holla at me. Good Holla night. At me. <laughs>